Sarka Hanway. I am a business and technology analyst for Accenture Technology. So a normal week for me on my client side, I am working on a food and beverage company down in County Cork. So we are implementing a new SAP system. My role would be to help the functional lead implement that. Day to day, I'm involved in testing the system. Does the system that we've created match the business requirements? Is it doing what it says it's meant to do? And then I'm also in charge of making the training materials for the end users. So if someone comes in, knows nothing about it, they can look at that and know, okay, this is how to work it. It's really enjoyable work. We all know that you need the hard skills of an analytical mindset, problem solving, but really the skills that I think have made me be successful in my role are the soft skills about your mindset. I come from a psychology background and adapting to a growth mindset has really propelled me forward. You're always going to be in a position where you're trying new things or people are asking you to help out. At the end of the day, it's up to you to mold your career. Hands down, my favourite thing about Accenture is the people. There's a kind of stigma when you're going into a big corporation that there's going to be a real hierarchy, but in Accenture that doesn't exist at all. I've sat down with the Director of Technology Ireland and had a conversation with him and it's like talking to a friend. Everyone in Accenture started where I started and they appreciate that and they help you to get to the next level in your career. They want to see you succeed. It's a total open door policy and that's definitely my favourite thing about the job. I think the most important thing that helped me in my career and something that people probably dislike the most in college is presenting. I've done so much presentations when I was in fourth year and that's definitely propelled me forward because a lot of the time you will be in client facing roles where you're having really important discussions with really important people and it's important for you to be confident and have courage or confidence in what you're on to say. So I studied applied psychology and a part of my degree was applying psychology to UX design. I think that would have been one of the only things that I could have taken into my role now when I was helping with the training content. The thing that got me the job, I 100% agree, was because I was authentically myself in the interviews. I wasn't trying to push myself into a box that I thought, this is what the company needs, this is what the company wants. I was just myself and it's definitely paid off.